Welcome back, everyone. Um, we have uh, made our fresh pasta. Now it's time to begin uh, putting our dish together. So, Rach. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you. I just cut it into these little strips. Uh, we use about a half of an inch, three quarters of an inch, I guess, today. <laughs> this is how we do it. And then, um, since fresh pasta is pretty forgiving, I can kind of clump it together here. I use about this much. I'm just gonna make one, one portion size here, but um, the recipe I put up is actually for four. So if you have guests, you have enough for four people. Yeah, yes. if you're cooking this at home for your family. Yeah, family exactly. About like that. Now, Rachel, can they use a rolling pin instead of the machine? I mean, if they don't have... You absolutely can. There's a lady at the restaurant who uses a rolling pin. It's really mm -hmm. hard. Seems like it's, more labor it's a good of a, it's, it's a good workout if you do that. Yeah. So I just put that in more water. And once I put it in, I'm just going to kind of... Um, I'll switch with you one sure. more time. Like that. Yep, I'm just going to let it boil in here. Of course, this is the slowest boiling water ever. <laughs> yeah. It's okay though. Fresh pasta is very forgiving, so we're just gonna let that sit in there. And then we're gonna start with the, um, the rest of the dish. Excuse my reach. Mm -hmm. I have some um, garlic oil, and what I actually do is I soak the garlic in the oil. That's the garlic I'd used earlier. I'm gonna put a little bit of that in my pan. And um, it gives it good flavor. And then- um, can smell it, yeah. Can't ever go wrong with garlic. Yeah, no kidding. Or and shrimp. then I'm just going to add the shrimp in here. I'll start with the shrimp a little bit. And really, on a, a full rolling boil, it would take two minutes to um, cook that pasta. Yeah. But since it's hardly even boiling, I'm just going to let it sit in there. Okay. We'll let it marinate a second. Mm -hmm. And the shrimp. Ooh, just until it gets a, a little bit pink. The smell in this kitchen is more. <laughs> The garlic in that oil, it's my secret ingredient. You now all know my secret weapon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we do. Um, yeah. I and mean, then, it uh, just smells the garlic. That's, that's yummy. I'll add the mushrooms. Okay, Rachel, what kind of oil do you use? It's just olive oil. Olive oil? Okay. Extra virgin olive oil. I had plenty of that as a tool. Mm -hmm. plenty of I love olive oil. But you could use any oil. I mean, the garlic, if you don't want vegetable to spend oil. as much. Yeah, you could use the vegetable oil and let the garlic sit mm -hmm. in there. Well, if you want a copy of Rachel's Secret on the, uh, this recipe, mm -hmm. you can go to our website. Here's the station. It's kbcg.com. Click on the West Cooking Show. Or uh, um, soon you'll be able to watch it on YouTube. Well, you can watch some of them on YouTube. Uh, I'm going to take a little bit of that garlic now. I don't like to add the garlic in the beginning because it does burn, burn easily. Easy. So only do it once you're kind of ready. Just cook down those mushrooms a little bit. And really, the shrimp's already cooked. The, the mushrooms are cooked. So at this point, I add a little bit of wine into this. Mm, I like okay. wine. I love wine. <laughs> <laughs> I trained in France. You have to like wine. Red wine, red, yeah. white. Yep. Rosé. Exactly. I let that just cook out a little bit. Um, and then now you can add your sun-dried tomatoes. Um, you can chop them a little bit. I might just run a knife through it very quickly so it's not too overpowering. These are strips, but just a little bit. I love sun dried tomatoes. Always a nice ingredient mm -hmm. for a pasta dish. Mm-hmm. Yep. Put that in there. Add some artichoke parts. Okay. And then very nice. About now we can add our um, this is not a low fat recipe. <laughs> <laughs> add our heavy cream that you can reduce down. Put about that much. Maybe a little more. And then this is just our house seasoning that we make, um, about a teaspoon or so. And really that's just going to reduce a little Again, bit. Again, at home, very simple. Yep, it's very simple. And um, oh, pasta's starting to boil now. I mean, it yeah. doesn't take long at all. <laughs> yeah, finally. Yeah, it didn't take long at all, only five minutes. And our cream's already <laughs> reduced and the ball. pasta's yeah. finally boiling. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just going to let this... Uh, Oh, these burners, whoo. Yeah. And Rachel, you uh, you do have this on the menu at this restaurant. Yep, it's and along on the menu. With other different pasta recipes. Yeah, you can do, we do the pasta, we do it with the shrimp, we do it with chicken, you do it with added crab, so. It lets your imagination go wild. Mm -hmm. As long as you can make the pasta, you can add whatever kind of ingredients you'd like. Yep, and of course you don't have to make the pasta. You can do it with um, store-bought pasta as well, well. It would be so much better. It's so restaurant. much better. It is, it's it is whole, so much better. It's a whole nother world right there. 
Just trying to get this cream to reduce on this burner. <laughs> the yeah, it takes a few minutes, but the, it'll kick in there. Yeah. And again, remind everybody at home the, the times of the restaurant. Okay, we're open Wednesday through Saturday for lunch and dinner. Um, lunch is 11 to 2 and dinner is 5 to 9. And then we're open from 10 to 2 for Sunday brunch. And then I'm just going to, uh, for lack of a colander and a place to pour the water, <laughs> I'm just going to take the pasta <laughs> noodles and add it right into here. Just, just like, like this. Yep. All right. And I like the fact that it's in a regular shape. I like it for this dish like that. Yeah, fresh pasta, you don't have to be so uniform. Yeah, That's it doesn't have to be. But I they don't do. want it uniform either way. Me neither, I don't either. <laughs> but if you are one of those people, they do have like attachments that you can literally you put on here and they cut it out the perfect linguine yeah. or whatever you're looking for. But This is good. So I'm just gonna, um, we could reduce this down a little bit more, but. And I always, I'm, I always have to just do it by the way each dish looks. I think it needs a little bit more seasoning. Mm -hmm. You can add your own seasoning. Okay. Not only does it smell wonderful, but it looks and delicious. Put it in here. Put the pasta and all the goodies kind of go on top, like that. Yummy. Could reduce the cream a little bit more at home. You might want to, but. And sometimes the pasta will actually absorb the, the liquids too. You it looked have, like it might have taken 10 more minutes on that burner, so. Yeah. You, you might have a better burner at home. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna take it alone. So put a little Asiago <laughs> cheese on top, or you can use Parmesan or whatever, and some green onions that we grew in our little garden out Good. back in the restaurant. Fresh, fresh. Beautiful. And there we go. Fantastic. And there we go, everybody. Pasta La, Pasta La Saint Charles. Saint Charles, yes. And Rachel, we, again, we want to thank you for coming on the show. And you had a really unique show today, showing us exactly how to make fresh pasta and everything. And that's Great. something we've never done here it's on the, the show. It's a first for us today. Good. Well, we I appreciate it very much. I'm very and, um, happy to be here. Again, to remind everybody at home, if you want a copy of this recipe that Rachel has done here today, just go to our uh, website at kdcg.com or come by the uh, Piggly Wiggles here at Opelousas. And we'll be able to print it off the internet or, you know, this, this recipe or whatever recipe that's on the archives, right, Jason? Yes, sir, we have some uh, shows on uh, YouTube. You can get, it. it's like 15 plus uh, shows on YouTube that you can check out. Uh, we'll be uploading some more soon, I'm pretty sure. So yeah. uh, check us out on YouTube or on our website. And if you want to be a guest, great. you know, hit us up. Yep, that's it. If you want fresh ingredients that you use here today, you can come by either Pig Wiggly stores here in Opelousas, 8410 Highway 182 North on the north side, or the new store at 1305 Heather Drive on the south side. Either location can help you with your not only recipes, but your ingredients, right, Jason? Yes, sir. Again, Rachel, thank you so much for coming. Thank and we you. do wish you have good luck at Catalhoodles and Grand Thank you very much. So if you want a really great lunch or dinner, join Rachel at her restaurant. Uh, she is the chef owner, and it's Catalhoodles and Grand Couture, so not hard to find. And also, thank you all for watching the What's Cooking Show, and we'll, we'll see you all next week.